Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. What we're going to look at today is a tip that we have kind of figured out um, how to keep your UDM Pro running a little smoother. So this tip is going to do a couple things. First, it's going to reduce your threat surface or your attack surface of your UDM, right? So that's always important, keeping that attack surface to a minimum. Um, and then it's also going to keep the resources on your UDM Pro. And this goes for the UDM Pro, the UDM SE, the UDM R, you know, the Unified Dream Router, the Dream Wall, all of the Dream things that can run multiple programs. We are recommending that you run. Um, kind of in this mode, right? Which is kind of a pared down, trimmed down. So I said all that to say we've had at least a dozen people email, email us saying that they've had problems with their Unified Dream Machine Pro. Uh, we also, we did, I think we had an SE as well. And what the problem is, is that the resource usage was super high and they um, were just doing basic things. One of the sites was as small as 10 APs and a couple switches and maybe like 50, 60 clients. And they were noticing 80 to 90% um, resource utilization on the UDM. And so what we have actually been doing is we have been uninstalling um, apps that we aren't running. So what you're looking at here, this is my Unify OS console. This is my UDM Pro. And you can see that uh, right here, Protect is not installed, but you can see that I've got Access. Well, since I'm not running Access on the UDM Pro, I actually want to uninstall it. And what we are recommending is that any apps that you're not running, of, of course, uh, network, you you know, you have to have that. Uh, make sure you are uninstalling these apps if you're not using them. We have found and several customers have found that if you are not using these apps, even with them just being installed, even if they're stopped, that they are taking up resources and sometimes the resource use is very, very high. And just by uninstalling these apps that we're not using, we've been able to bring that, that uh, resource usage down to the 20 to 30 percent mark right so um, like I said if you're not using it uninstall it it's gonna do two things it's gonna free up those resources and something under the hood is happening you know with this where even if it's if it's not running even if it's installed we've seen it cause issues so Uninstalling it is going to free up those resources for whatever's happening under the hood, and it's going to uninstall and not use software that you don't have to worry about patching, keeping up to date, so that threat surface um, is going to be minimized. So we have, like I said, real-world experience where doing this frees up a lot of resources on the UDM, and the UDM works a lot better. The other thing to note is when you are looking at sizing your uh, your UDM, whether it's a Pro, an SE, a UDR, the the guide on the Ubiquity site where you can slide how many APs you're going to have and all that, that is very, very, very accurate, especially when you turn on the uh, IDS, IPS stuff. So pay attention to that as well. But in the meantime, if you have noticed that on your UDM Pro, your UDM SE, or whatever, you've got high resource usage and we were seeing uh, resource usage so high that the UI would stop responding. And the only way to get back into the device was to uh, physically reboot it. So make sure you're going, you're uninstalling these apps that you're not using. That's going to free up those resources and make your attack surface smaller. And if you've got questions about this, you can leave it down in the comment. If you need help with this or any other IT consulting, you can go to willyhow.com, click hire us or fill out the contact form and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and that you subscribe and share and always comment and follow me on Twitter and, Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below. All of our affiliate links and the link to go to my website where you can hire us are down below. I'm Willie. Once again, I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.